Hi, I'm Guive. I'm the CEO and co-founder of Suri, short for Sustainable Rituals. We're on a mission to make the most enjoyable electric toothbrush to use uh, that delivers a great clean and is pushing the boundaries in terms of what it means to be sustainable. We wanted to, to find a really cool space that we could fit our whole team in and then also invite other cool brands that are you know, not necessarily in the exact same space, but we're all on a mission to make products that are more sustainable in different ways. I guess what I feel I love about your journey is you've embraced that it, it is an incremental thing. It is a continual mindset of improvement, not just a wake up one morning and you're perfect. If you are true to the spirit of creating great products, they're always imperfect. And so there are always ways we can improve. And I would say, you know, when we first launched, we really wanted to create something that was slim, enjoyable to use, delivered a high performance clean, and then was pushing the boundaries in terms of sustainability. But, you know, there's always room for improvement. All of this reminds me of the engineering term, the Pareto rule, which is sort of saying that you'll get, you know, 80% of the benefit from 20% of the effort if you know which things to choose and apply that 20% to. So I had a little bit of fun taking apart my wife's toothbrush here, and we're not going to worry about what brand it is. But what I realized was there was all sorts of ooze and gunk and rust that had got into here and it created all sorts of problems, as well as the fact when I actually had to change the battery, as that was the reason I took it apart, it was very complicated and stressful. 100%, it's a challenge that we face because we need to make products that are hermetically sealed, used every day in a water environment. We learned that by using different materials, uh, by making some of the components easier to remove, by sealing them in different ways, you can achieve that, but it's a massive challenge that we face. So. It's one thing when I was taking apart this Boss screwdriver and realizing that it's got a battery that you can go online and you can replace. But of course, this doesn't experience the water, the vibrations, the general abuse that comes from a toothbrush. So weirdly, even though this is a DIY power tool, I think toothbrushes are harder to engineer for repairability. Would that be right? I agree with you in terms of, yeah, we all use the sort of DIY tools at home, um, but obviously a toothbrush is used every day. So we've got to make sure that this is going to be sort of fit for purpose for life. And so, yeah, we've got to put a lot of engineering rigor into it. So this for me feels like so much of what this journey has been about is taking those incremental steps. And it is kind of a one small step for toothbrushes, one giant leap for engineering kind, isn't it? I would recommend that perseverance is obviously what's going to keep you striving forward to progress and deliver those improvements and goals. And I think everyone has the ability to influence, especially designers and engineers at the beginning and the front end, and keep on being provocative, keep on pushing those boundaries with the supply chain and manufacturers, um, because you're not going to maybe solve it in the first iteration, but you're going to eventually get there over time as you keep on improving. And let's move towards that North Star together.